Whew. Feels good, doesn't it? it? It does. This is this is too professional for me. Hey guys. Oh, you had to this do is, it. I, you had to do it. I had to. I can't help it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Safi on Super Saf TV, and I've got here with me, good friend, amazing creator. It is, of course, Austin Evans. How do you sneak in here? This is, this is my spot. This is, I, I get in places, trust me. Like, oh, please stay out. No, no, my name is Saf. I get into places. I'm, I'm sneaky. I, I, I'm not moving from here. Like, this place is so awesome. I'm just okay. going to stay here. You can, you can like, sleep, sleep up here. Yeah, this is what I mean. Just get me a little space. I don't take too much space. I'm, I'm pretty slim, so it's all good. It's all good, man. Oh, man. All the, way, all the way in LA. Thank like you it. for being on the channel, man. I'm, of course. Uh, finally, it's been, I've always wanted to get you on the channel. So finally, I'm here in oh, LA. Oh, yeah, because yeah. last time we did a video, the, the videos on my channel. Yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So yeah. we wanted to get you on here so we can do something properly in your studio Proper. space. It's it. awesome. We've got a little studio tour as well, which will be coming soon. So we'll have that Ooh. soon. Just gonna ask a few questions, get to know okay. Austin Evans. Is it like lightning round time already or am I too no, no, ahead no, no. of myself? Well, that's, that's still to come, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. okay. You're already ready for it. You're, like, ready. Okay. You're ready to go. Rapid fire, ready to go. Do it. Well, uh, so, so initially, for the first thing I'm gonna ask you, right? So who is Duncan? Oh, wow, you're going from the side. straight, for straight it. to it. All right, so the story is, yeah. is that way back before I was ever like making videos or anything, mm. when I was like 10 or something, I was like, it was really young, when I okay. first started getting on the internet, I didn't want to use my real name. Okay. I was like, there are scary people on the internet and they'll find where they I live. Are. There are. are scary people on the internet. Yes, lots of scary people. So that's, that's what it was. Yes, so what? basically, came up with a fake name, Duncan, okay. and I used that online forever. Yeah. Um, and so that was just sort of the name I used when I created my YouTube channel, which mm. was a couple years before I even uploaded a video. I just yeah. wanted to subscribe to people. Yeah, yeah. And that was like 2007 or something. So I had the Duncan33303 channel, okay. and so I kept making videos, and for a while, if you actually watch my early videos, yeah. I say, hey guys, this is Duncan. Really? Yeah, I, I, I didn't I, know that. I didn't okay. want people to know my real name. Like, okay, even, even when I was like 16, 17, I still was like, oh yeah, that's the name of the channel, that's cool, okay. it's like, excellent, like, I'm Duncan, and it's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, over time, I realized that, that was a really dumb idea. Mm. And I started switching everything over to Austin, and the channel name obviously is Austin Evans now. Yeah. But if you go to the actual channel page, yeah, you're still, still be, Duncan still be, yeah, 303. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so that's where it all came from. It's so just, it's, uh, it's not like a middle name or anything. No, no, it's not like Marquez's mm. middle name, where she keeps Which obviously very hidden. We still don't know. Oh, well, maybe, maybe we know, but most people don't know. This can be revealed soon. Uh, 10, 10, million? 10 million, yeah. So that's, that's we'll like such a great 10 million. Yeah. Call. Oh yeah, that so is good. that is um, re reveal. I wish I had a great secret to reveal at 10 million. Do you have a middle name? I do. Oh, I'm oh. gonna tell anyone. Uh, subscribe to me. Subscribe uh, and to And I'll Austin tell you my middle name and seven million subscribers. There you go. This is a good way. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a middle name, so uh, people probably wouldn't care. So yeah. So <laughs> anyway, pick up one and then, and then tease it for ten million. Put, put one in there somewhere. So your, your middle name is Tech, and well, I was like, a lot, oh. A lot of people actually think like so. When I get emails, be like, hi, Super. No. Obviously, first no. name Super, surname Saf, right? No. Actually, that this this is actually happens a lot. It actually happens pretty frequently. That's it's crazy. crazy. Can yeah. you just like screenshot all these and like send them to me? I just yeah, I, 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 I need a little joy in my life. I'll, I'll do that. I'll just DM you like one of the, one of these so things super? pop in, right? I can change your contact on my phone to super now. That's it. Just super. First name super. The Last. name Saf. Super Saf. Oh boom. Where, where right. are the glasses? You, you can't get out the glasses. First name super. Last name Saf. There you go. <laughs> also, can I just jump in for a second? Yeah, go on. We just had lunch. Yeah. It is incredibly hard to take you seriously with those glasses on. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sure you guys have seen in like all of your Instagrams and everything where people like try to figure out what phone you're, you're using. Yeah. It's, you know, they're so reflective. All yeah. I do is I look at myself when I'm talking to you. Yeah. It's a very bizarre, it's a very bizarre this thing. Is it's on brands, man. Yeah, it is, it is. And what's, what's brilliant is because people keep looking like, uh, but then you can't actually tell what the device is, unless it's an iPad. But I did that deliberately. <laughs> I did that deliberately. Like, what like, am I taking hey. a photo on? So we're gonna talk a little bit about tech. Okay. Uh, and then we'll talk about other stuff, like your YouTube journey. What are your go-tos right now? Camera, computer, and smartphone. Okay, well I can start with the smartphone. Okay. I'm actually really proud of this one. The okay. iPhone XR. <sighs> Controversial. I've been using this. No, I, I made a video. I made a video <laughs> saying yeah, I'm yeah. switching to it. Yeah. I've legitimately been using the XR since well, yeah, since the day it came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like this one a lot, man. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think it's way underrated for the battery. Mm. I think, I mean, you've spent, you did the unboxing of it. Uh, you had yeah, the yeah. pre-brief, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I like the phone. It's, it's a great phone. I personally prefer the Tennis Max. Yeah. Uh, just because it's too I, big. I, like, I, that's, 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 for me, yeah. like, this is like the border. Like, it's I like just, slightly smaller phones. I yeah. can deal with this. The mm. Max is just like, oh, okay, this is. The same thing with the Note, though. Like, yeah. I feel like once you get much above that six inch size, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just got really awkward. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah. So 10R mostly for the battery life. Also, I just like the yellow. That that is a good combination with, yeah, with the bumper, especially yeah, with the, yellow. the yellow buttons. And oh, nice. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Cool. So right. that's the phone. Okay. Um, what was the next category? It's uh, computer. Computer. Uh, it's 15-inch MacBook 
Pro, primarily for editing though. Mm. That's one of those things where I've been on the 15 for a few years now, but okay. it's entirely because of Final Cut. Yeah. And I actually don't like it as a laptop. Like mm -hmm. it's a good solid laptop, it's yeah. just big. Yeah. And so I've been actually running through a ton of secondary devices. Mm -hmm. So right now, um, I'm using the HP Spectre Folio. Okay. Um, that's a really cool one. Yeah. Um, I've also been using a little bit of the Pixel Slate, okay. which I'm not such a huge fan of. Mm -hmm. But the laptop okay. is something that changes. Like the MacBook stays around for editing. Yeah. But what I actually use on a regular basis is all over the place. I mean, I was even using the iPad Pro for a little bit. That's one oh, of the yeah, ones yeah. that kind of goes into the rotation. But cool. my secondary laptop literally changes like almost every week. It's okay. always like whatever new thing I want to play with. Cool. And go to camera. The Sony RX100 Mark IV. Okay. That's your okay. Yeah, cool. that lives in my bag every single day. Okay. I don't like the Mark V. Mm -hmm. Mostly because oh, actually wait. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Mark Six. You gave me the Mark IV. You have the Mark. Okay, the Mark V. It's the Mark V. I get them all confused. So the yeah. Mark VI is the one with the super zoom. Okay. But I don't like that it loses the ND and it also it loses right. the aperture. So it's like a 2.8 to 4 lens. Okay. So I love the Mark V, which has none of the great super fast uh, autofocus, but it's awesome 4K. Okay. I actually use that a lot for like random bits. So like for Instagram, um, for like a lot of like stories and like other things that I can yeah, want. Yeah. It's like a slightly better camera. Okay. But also I love it for video. Like there's all kinds of times where I'm just walking around like, oh, it's a really cool shot. And like I'll pull like the phone or whatever I'm testing out of my yeah. pocket and go like, Boom, a quick shot. All right, so, so that's, that, that's your go-to camera that stays with you. It literally lives in my bag 24-7. I'm always cool. like ready to, to grab. Like I've shot like big videos on that when I was just like yeah. in the right time at the right place. I'm just like, boop. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Good to know. Now, XR is your primary smartphone right now. The, the iPhone XR, if you'd be Sorry. Uh, correct with the name. I, Although I, everybody, everybody I know just says XR. I, I'm just so I've used given to up it on, now. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. People. I'm just, I like, if you can't beat them, Joe. Like the Apple people, like when I was buying the phone, like, oh, you, ha you want an iPhone XR or an XR? It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So that, that's a go to phone. Yeah. Now, there's lots that's, that's the like about it. Yep. If you could bring in other aspects of other phones to make this even better, okay. like, say you just had, like, mm. magic factories, like, mm. okay, I'm going to just pick out this element yeah, yeah. from this phone and put it into here, what would those be and from which phones? Okay. Let's well, camera. First thing, I want a Pixel 3 camera. Okay. Easy choice. I mean, the Easy. 10R is fine. Yeah, it's yeah. a good camera. I mean, Pixel, it's so good. Pixel's the Pixel, Night Sight, yeah. ooh, it's, it's night good. Night Sight, it's, it's good, man. Like, it's, it's good. yeah, I mean, this is something that I just said in my iPhone uh, 10s Max review mm. was low light is somewhat an area which, you know, Apple smartphones needs to work have, on. Well, yeah. I mean, smartphones in general have always yeah. been really disadvantaged in low light just mm. because you're dealing with very small lenses, very small sensors. Yep. But the idea that you're using this computational photography, I sound like a Google ad right now. <laughs> like, the idea that, like, this is something that's sort of totally different, yeah. it's, it's awesome. Like, the, yeah. the results you can get from Night Sight, especially considering this is, like, V1, is yeah. so cool. Okay. So I'd take that. Okay. Um, I'd probably take, like, the, the headphone jack and the DAC from, like, the, the V30 or 40 or... I think it's okay. all pretty yeah, much yeah. the same. But a nice high-res headphone jack would be dope. I don't really use the headphone jack that much, but yeah, I'd rather yeah. it. Um, You'd rather have it. Let's see what else I want. I kind of like. I'm tempted to say I want the fingerprint sensor from the OnePlus. Okay. But I wouldn't give up Face ID for it. Okay. I would like it as a secondary option because it is a little slow. Okay. The, 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 the on screen, right? The in. I always say in fingerprint display, yeah. but it's always the reverse. It's yeah, the yeah. in display fingerprint. In display fingerprint, right? <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is a really small screen. Yeah. I might take that. Mm. Um, what yeah. about like uh, battery life? What, what is this? Is this, this, this is the one is for battery such life? good battery? Yeah. I've okay. So this might sound weird, and I do charge my phone like in the car sometimes. Okay. But I do not charge this phone every night, and this is the first smartphone I've not had to charge every night in a very long time. Yeah. No, like, it's just it's really good. It like is. I'll drop it on like a wireless charger for like 10, 15 minutes a day, and, and like that's pretty much it. Or like I'll plug it nice. in the car like on my ride. Yeah. Um, it's it, that's to me it's so nice. I don't have to worry about battery life, and this is the first specifically with iPhones. Obviously, mm. there have been some Android phones with massive batteries yeah. for a little while. But at least on the iPhone side, yeah. it has been, I mean, this is the best battery life I've ever tried on an iPhone. I, yeah, it's on an so iPhone nice. for sure, yeah, definitely. What about the display? Well, where would you get the display from? It's fine. No, but wait, if it's you fine. could... For, for it's you, fine, Sap. It's fine. I don't know It's fine. It's, it's literally, it's perfect. In so fact. you would keep the, you'd keep the display? Nah, 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 I'd probably get it later. Well, 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 well. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fine, but it is this, fine. this is not the perfect phone. I'm talking about no. the Austin Evans edition. No, um, so we would, I, I would put like a Samsung OLED in it. Yeah. Um, it's, from, it's, from which phone do you think would you would you grab that? I mean, any of the Samsung. I mean, the like, iPhone, the I Samsung. See, like, yeah. uh, they're all the same no, notch, screen. No notch. I don't care about the notch. You, you don't really, you're not too bothered about the notch. The notch on this okay. is fine. I, cool. I don't care. As long as it's not like a Pixel 3 XL notch, I yeah. couldn't care less. Yeah. Let's talk a bit more about um, YouTube. Like, okay. you've how long? Have you been doing YouTube videos? It's going to be 10 years soon, right? 10 years in 10 April. Years. That's, that's amazing. Like, that's a very long time. You've seen... No, I mean, like, you're obviously... It, a, you're a lot younger than me, so... It's just like... Huh? 
Wait, wait. We, we, we can't reveal. We can't reveal this. This is not. This is not. This is not public the real Super Sap. This is the real Austin Evans. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm 26. What's, yeah. 26. Yeah. Right. So, so you've been making videos since what? Like you were I was 16. 16. So you're yeah. in your teens. So you're making videos. Yeah. Um, like that journey for you. What has? What do you think's changed? On Everything. The platform? Everything. Everything. No, I mean, so back in the early days, right? Like I, I don't know, do you remember the YouTube Partner Program? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I remember. I, I wanted to try to get on that. I was like, man, I want to be in this. I yeah. did not get the Partner Same. Program. It was. I know I got rejected once. I think I maybe got rejected twice. Yeah. It wasn't until I had like a couple thousand subscribers and mm. like almost a million combined views that yep. I finally got Partner, which was like a year of like nonstop like daily videos. Like that was like a big deal. I mean. It's, it's, it's such a different space, right? Mm-hmm. And I think the scale is definitely a big part of it. Mm-hmm. I think it's grown up. Because in those early days, I made terrible videos. Yeah. Like, you well, watch any of like, the first like, thousand of my videos. Okay, maybe not a thousand. Like, the first 500 of my videos, they're all terrible. They're still on. They're still on. You can check them out. Yeah, I've almost kept all of the... Like, there's like a, like, a handful of videos that have been removed for various reasons, like mm. copyright or whatever. <laughs> um, I was good with copyright until I accidentally used a couple of songs in a video. Anyway, uh, yeah. not important. Le- um, le- it's, it's learning, isn't it? Though? Exactly. But the space has grown up so much, yeah. right? And the fact that sort of in those early days, there was nothing. Like, there was no respect. Mm. Like, oh. the tech space had earned zero respect. YouTube had earned zero respect. Like, mm-hmm. I remember, like, in those early days, when I would tell people what I would do because... Essentially, sort of my background is that I started when I was 16, mm-hmm. and I got the partner program that was around the time I was going to get a job. So I was okay. like, I'm just going to keep doing this. Yeah. So uh, basically, when I would tell people what, what, what I do, they're like, oh, you make online videos. Yeah. But people didn't even know what YouTube was. I was like, no, it's, 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 it's tech. It's, it's, it's yeah. fine. I'm, I'm making tech videos. I, I still get people ask, like, how do you actually make a living? How do you make money? How do you no, make money? No, people still don't know. Like, yeah. it's, it's still quite I make videos with space. staff is how I make money. This is how it is. You come on the channel and that's it. You're just going to be rolling you're just, like, you're just I'm going to put me, some, I'm going to put a GIF Like underneath the table, you're just handing me that's money every it. time. I'm like, okay, it's going to be $100 for the next question. It's like, what was the, the video uh, with the H3H3 H3 and, and PewDiePie? Did you ever see that oh, one? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> but this space has evolved so much. Yeah, it has, it's it's it crazy has. to think. I mean, even four or five years ago, right? It's, I mean, cool, like, yeah. it's completely different. And yeah. it's, it's cool to see that it's evolved and sort of, not only has YouTube sort of gained, like, obviously this huge, Huge, huge traction around the world. Massive. But like the tech space itself, it's like we're, in, we're actually invited to events, right? Like we went to the Apple event uh, what, that a was, few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that would have never happened back it, in the day. B- b- before, like, this is the thing. Like, I, I would email so many companies mm-hmm. and they would just reject me. Like, or like wouldn't I wouldn't even get response. response. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even get response. Yep. And now those same companies are like, hey, would you Please like come to come my events? events? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, we'll because they're seeing the difference. That's amazing to see that change. Now, speaking of the change of YouTube as a platform, obviously, we've seen you change as a creator, right? I was this tall when I started and I'm this tall. (laughs) Well, this is the thing. I mean, like, even physically, like, you know, that change has happened as well. Is that something that you experience because of comments on YouTube or people, like, saying, hey, is is that something that influenced your change? Yes. That's interesting. So especially in the early days. Yeah. So I am from the the southern part of the U.S., right? Hmm. So when I was younger, and especially in those early videos, I had a pretty strong accent, Hmm. right? And I would say I had a little bit of a lisp. Like, I, I okay. did not speak, I, I, I didn't speak very clearly, yeah. right? And that was something that comments drove out of me. Hmm. Like, the accent I have now, like, I don't sound like really anyone in my family or anything, mostly because yes. people, like, complained about it so much because yeah. I was doing so many videos. So I remember those first couple years, like, I was super self-conscious of my voice, and mm. I made real efforts to, like, learn how to, like, to, to speak differently. And now, like, I can't even imitate the way I used to sound. So that's, like, I mean, obviously that's a very extreme example. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, YouTube has absolutely influenced it, but... I don't think it's that different than being in like sort of the public eye in a lot of other places. Yeah. I mean, you look at an actor like they're gonna get like you know a f- their face done or their teeth done or like yeah. they're gonna like get super buff for a role. I mean, I think when you're in sort of the public space, you do have to keep those expectations in mind and yeah. not change yourself like totally. But mm. you need to kind of like be on top of things, right? Like yeah. you, you can't you gotta remember to brush your teeth every morning. You got you gotta comb your hair. Like there's there's some things you have to do. <laughs> you when don't you're do in those things normally. I mean, I never did before. No. I just can't. <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah. toothbrush, what's that? <laughs> and in terms of also, like, so exercising and stuff, yeah. so that's something that, I mean, did you used to get yep. people, like, yeah. commenting pretty mean comments, right? Because, well, I mean, okay, I can, the thing. there's another great story here. Yeah. Uh, again, directly because of comments. Yeah. Um, there was this time, so for reference, mm. like, maybe four or five years ago, I was super skinny. Like, I was, like, 20 pounds less than I am now. Right? Oh, I was, so I was yeah, super, see. super tiny. And I'd always been like that, yeah, like, yeah. ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, I was out, I remember it was my birthday, and my parents and I, we all went out and the family on, like, a little boat trip, right? Yeah. So I Instagrammed a, a photo of myself, like, shirtless, right? Like, having a good time. Yeah. The amount of comments I got, I was like, yeah. oh, you're so skinny, you're so small. But yeah. literally, was like, oh, wow, am I actually really that small? Like, I really, yeah. like, I should start, like, sort of hitting the yeah. gym and everything. 
But yeah, it was, like, no, it, it is, directly it is. because of that. I didn't realize. Like, yeah. I thought I was like, oh, maybe I'm like a little small, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then I was like, I look at that photo now. I, I'll, I'll send you a link. I yeah, look at yeah. that photo now, and it's just actually. I'll put it on. <laughs> I, I can find yeah, it. No, if you I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on. Uh, I'll, I'll superimpose it on screen as well. That's no, so, but the thing is, there's, there's there's a positive and a negative as well because Absolutely. obviously people kind of like saying that to you kind of affects you, but it also motivates you that okay, look, maybe there is something that I need to change. Absolutely. I mean, but there's certain times like I, I took a picture. We uh, I was in Berlin and we just had a big lunch like we just had right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just kind of leaning back, and we just got a picture, and then literally every other's like, "Saf, you put some weight on." And it actually made me. It actually made me conscious, like, yeah. "Damn, I have." Right. But that's the thing. So right? This is the thing. I think there's a way for this to come off really wrong, yeah. right? Where it's just like, "Oh, I read a comment, and all of a sudden I like lose all confidence and have to go change my life." It's not really like that. Yeah. It's more of a thing where it's like. There are things that, like, in life I wasn't aware of, and I get a comment, it's like, oh, you know what? That's right. I don't yeah. like the way this is. I don't like the way I look here. I don't like, like, it's more of like a, oh, you know what? I want to, like, be better. I want to be healthier. Like, it's not like a negative thing. Like, yeah. I feel like the way it, it might come off is just like, oh, a comment was mean to me, and I decided to, like, start speaking differently. But it's like, you have to keep these things in common, or yeah. you have to keep these things in mind when, like, someone says, hey, you know, don't forget to do this. You're like, oh, what? This is what other people do? Like, this is a great idea. I, I think what you said there is, is, is perfect. Like, there is a lot of negativity online, but yeah. you can always take out and make that into something positive. But find the positive. Absolutely. Find the positive exactly. and improve yourself. And right? I, th I think that's, that's amazing advice, and I think that's something that a lot of people, when they're coming online, right, yeah. that they experience initially, they might get some hate and stuff like you're that. You're going to get so hate. Like, you're going to get that. That's, that's part of being online, right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. It, it, is, it is that process of, okay, filtering that out, kind of seeing what's, what's maybe constructive. Yeah and applying that to achieve a positive result at the yes. end of it. Yes, totally. absolutely. Positivity. What keeps you motivated? Like, you know, <sighs> it, I've seen so many YouTubers who like, yeah. you know, like just like maybe burn out or something. What keeps you going? So this is something that has changed a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So the first several years, like I'd say like five, six years, I was 100% dedicated to the channel, right? Like mm -hmm. I would wake up, I would like walk over, I would start making videos, like that was my life. Yeah. And I mean, I didn't have a social life. Like I literally lived and breathed on, like everything YouTube, right? So like when a video wouldn't perform well, like I would I would take that, like yeah, that, would, yeah. that would hurt, right? Like I, I remember some times where I was really down when like I put a ton of effort into a video and it didn't pay yeah, off, yeah. right? And there was one of those times where I realized this isn't healthy. Like it's obviously it's great to do something you love and really care about it, mm -hmm. but like you can't be that attached to exactly. everything all the time. Yeah. So I made actually a big sort of decision that I wanted to take a little bit of like a, a mental step back. Mm -hmm. So I not only I try not to do a lot of work at home. Like when I go home, spend time with family. Like I, that's that's it's cut off. And obviously that's never really true because there's yeah, always like oh I, there's this call I need to jump on or oh, yeah. I need to like write up a video. But I made a real effort to almost sort of. This is gonna sound weird. Almost put less of myself online. Okay. Like if you look at like my old tweets and stuff, right? Like mm. I used to tweet in a very different way because I used to share so much because mm. it was such a part of my life. Yeah. Like all my friends were online friends. Like I didn't have mm. a lot of people in in sort of the real world, right? Yeah. But sort of I realized that it's great to have all kinds of online friends. Obviously, we oh, yeah. sort of like started talking online and everything. But yeah. at a certain point, you have to sort of find that kind of the balance. Of course. Right? And for me, that balance was I need to share a little bit less. I mm. need to have my own personal life that I don't share everything with. Yeah. And that, That's for me, was kind of where I really found my ideal work-life balance. If okay. I work, I have a ton of fun, but it's not like when I go home, I like, I'm like, oh, analytics, oh, this video, whatever. I actually get to like, I'm gonna go That's out cute. to dinner. I'm gonna take my girl out to dinner, we're gonna have a nice time, I'm not even gonna think about it, right? Awesome. And that, to me, is what really re rejuvenates my energy because I come into work, I'm excited, yeah. right? Whereas, I think it's easy as a, as a content creator. Oh, yeah. You're working all the time, and you never stop. And when you never stop, your head's down all the time. You can't get that sense of, oh, wow, I made this video. It's great. It's more yeah, like, yeah. oh, no, but the you next know, video, oh, I've got to fly here. Like, constantly. It never stops. So having those breaks and sort of making some distance in my life, that made a huge difference just for my, my sanity, for my mental health of just like, I'm gonna take a break. Mm. I'm not gonna think about it today. I'm gonna, this weekend, I'm not gonna like touch the channel. I'm just gonna go that's, out and do my own thing. It's amazing. That's really good. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's great that you mentioned that because doing what we do, there's a real fine line between work and life, right? Because it yeah. kind of just combines and it becomes one thing. Yeah. So then, it's not, I, I get some people can yeah. pull it off really well. Yeah. It, to me, it didn't feel healthy. Yeah. I, 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 I was just head down all the totally. time. Totally. I think there is, there is something that you, you do need to have a little bit of separation just yes. to kind of you know, maybe step back and kind yeah. of sit, not just as you were saying, not just looking at analytics all the time, kind of take a look back, yeah. you know, not think about it too put, much. Put the phone down, go, go yeah, out. Yeah. Like, that's kind of hard. But like, <laughs> go out without the phone, just like forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Go Have you ever done that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, that's interesting. Out. 
I mean, yeah. it's usually only for a few hours at a time. Like, yeah. I'll leave the phone in the car and like go out no, like, that's, for a that's, hike or that's something. That's good advice. Yeah, yeah, no, you, that's you gotta, that. Maybe I need to try that. That's, it's, that's, that's it's, pretty good. It's a big deal, man. You just gotta yeah. like, get some space in your life. You gotta. You can't be working all the time. Touching on a little bit more work, like you started off on your own. I'm assuming just making videos in, in your bedroom. Yeah, right? absolutely. Very simple. That's how pretty much all of us started. Yeah. Now, um, as you guys will be seeing from the studio tour that we've got coming up, uh, a you've, got a, you've got a team, you've got a studio. Yeah. It's, uh, how, what, is, what does the Austin Evans team now have? Like, who, who is in the Austin Evans team? So, including me, there's six of us. Um, so we have two channels now. Yeah. Um, we have, obviously, a ton of tech stuff we're doing. We try mm -hmm. to do like more like Instagram TV stuff. That's actually been a big focus for us. So what's kind of happened, especially this year, is that we started branching out yeah. and sort of following Linus, which, honestly, Linus has been my inspiration. I mean, I've known Linus for a long time. Yeah. And the very first time I met him, I had a conversation with him that changed the entire way I looked at things. Okay. Like, because he was one of the very few people, especially in the early days, who really went for a team big. Yeah. Or, or, or for a big team early, right? Because mm. Linus is, actually, uh, sort of speaking of it, Linus is one of the few people who never started by himself. He always had someone. He was always sort yeah. of a part of something else. And in those early days, it was like, oh, why would I want to work with another person? Like, oh, I, I like doing everything myself. Yeah, yeah. But he sort of opened my eye to the idea that, you know what, there's definitely a lot of things you can accomplish as a group that you can't do by yourself. Totally. Right? Totally. So I think... Linus is always a few years ahead of me as far as like how big and like how grand the scale is. Mm. But I feel like Linus has sort of done a lot of things really smartly and that's mm. sort of been my my internal model of like, okay, yeah. cool. That's what a YouTube business can be. Yeah. And that requires help. You can't, yeah, yeah. I can't do everything, right? Ken's running the camera now. Yeah. I can't talk to you and run the it camera, can. right? Yeah, yeah. no, that, that's, I mean, this is the thing. I mean, like that's one of the things I'm personally struggling with as well. Like I only went full-time last year yeah. and kind of getting out of, and I think a lot of, people who make content online and YouTube and stuff because you're so used to doing it yourself mm. like breaking out and then delegating and then yeah. but you can only do so much yourself right and you, well, you do can, need but you're always the bottleneck in everything right exactly. like if you're a good editor but there's a better editor who can do it faster than you yep. that removes the bottleneck right like exactly. if I'm an okay shooter but I can hire Ken who's gonna like completely destroy me and get like amazing shots yeah. that makes everything better right so totally. it's like you can be good at a lot of things yeah. but you're never gonna be great at everything yeah. whereas if you have a lot of people who are great at their individual tasks mm. not only does that free you up to do more things and everyone gets more stuff done but the overall content is better yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the thing. Seeing your content, like, develop over the years. Thank like, you. seeing it now, like, it's, it's amazing. And not only, like, I'm not just talking, I mean, this setup is great. It looks amazing. But also, again, the, the delivery of the content. I think how you were saying with, not, not particularly your accent, but yeah. some of the early videos that I saw of yours, like, like, now you're just so much more energetic in your videos. And you can Thank see you. that. You can see that difference. And I, and I, and I like seeing that development of Thank you, man. yourself as a creator, man. So it's, it's awesome to see. Everything's going really great for you right now. Yeah. It's amazing seeing the new content, the second channel as well. Thank you. Thank you. How long do you see yourself doing YouTube videos? Is there something else in the works and plans or what? Like, is, is it just currently going to stick to these YouTube channels? I mean, yes. Yeah. Uh, there's plans for expansion. Like, okay. I mean, again, like IGTV is like big, like yeah. more channels is definitely sort of on the horizon. Like basically we're doing good right now. Like I feel good with where we are right now. Yeah. I want to do more. I want to do bigger. Right. Getting so ahead. the channel's not going anywhere and it's nothing like that, but it's like, could we make like a documentary? I'd love to do that. Right. Like, could we do yeah. stuff that lives outside of YouTube? That would be amazing. Right. Like the bigger opportunities that we've been slowly kind of putting our toe in the water with mm. is super exciting to me because yeah. I think like you were saying earlier, there's so many people who sort of deal with like burnout issues. And when you've done the same thing, especially with tech, right? I mean, mm. there's only so many phones you can look at before you're like, yeah, yeah boom, yeah, it's, it's another phone. It's a little bit better. Or like, especially like laptops or whatever the case yeah. is. Like, it's fun for a while until you realize it's like, oh, this kind of feels the same. I'm not as excited. Yeah. And so I think you so, always have to challenge yourself and find those different things, right? Because uh, this is going to sound a little bit douchey maybe, but... I kind of have the tech thing figured out, which yeah. I, I know sounds really bad, but like, I know how to make a tech video. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, I mean, I've done it for 10 years. Like, have, it's yeah. every day, like, I walk in and I walk in, like, oh, here's the thing. Like, I know how to do that. What I haven't felt in a long time is like walking into something like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. This is all crazy. New challenge. And I got to figure it out, right? Yeah, like, totally. that's, that's, there's something there. There is. You know, like, yeah. there's, there's like a there's real power to that. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the more situations I can put myself into like that, not only mm. it helps me grow, mm. it's also exciting. Like, that's the kind of something like, oh, I can't wait for this new project. Like, I have no idea how, how to do it, where it's probably going to be a huge failure, but I'm excited because it's new and it's exciting. I'm going to learn something. And who knows? Maybe it ends up being awesome. That's the, kind of the way I look at sort of expansion in the future because it's, there's so much possibility. Like, I yeah, think there is, there is. we're going to look back at this time, right? And we're going to think, like, the, the explosion of, like, online video. It's like, yeah. there is so much opportunity everywhere. There is, yeah. Right? Like, it's, it's everywhere. And, like, 
I, I know I'm going to look back on this. And if I don't do my best to sort of try as many things and expand yeah. as much as I can, I look back and go, oh, man, look, look uh, Saf's over here with the, the Netflix original. I'm just like, oh, man, oh, I, I could have done that. I didn't ever even try. You know, like there's yeah, all no, these things. Totally. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this again in a few years' time. And yeah. we'll, kind of, we'll, we'll remember this segment and kind of see what has happened yeah. in that time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to like kind of do a little bit. We're going we're to do some fun stuff, right? Oh, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, right, is, okay, so have you, have you ever Googled yourself and seen what the top results are? Maybe, a time or two. Okay. Um, oh, no, just... What kind of stuff do you, have you found? Um, okay, so I know a lot of people search for the fire. Okay. Um, a lot of people search for the PC builds. Uh -huh, yeah, I've got that here. Um, mm, I don't know, what else would someone Google? I don't know, there's going to be something really embarrassing. Okay, so, uh, so we've got here Austin Evans. We've got some simple ones. Austin okay. Evans, Twi uh, Evans Twitter. Yeah. Austin yeah. Evans Wiki. Austin I don't Evans. Have Wikipedia. Uh, you don't have one. So, it's fun fact. If, okay. you look, if you Google Austin Evans Wiki, yeah. it links you to Linus's Wikipedia page because I'm cited there. <laughs> okay, so then you actually. So you end up there. on Linus. Yeah, but I don't have the actual page. Somebody needs to make a page for Just, you. Like, please you don't one. make me go to Linus's uh, Wikipedia anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then it comes to you, Austin Evans net worth. People are very interested. I've seen interested. a lot of these videos. Yeah. Were, I'm sure you've seen like, people made videos on you as well, right? No, 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 not me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at that level yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. That's, uh, sorry, that, that sounds really <laughs> offensive. These net worth videos are hilarious. Yeah. Because like, someone will go and like, try to cherry pick a couple facts from Twitter. Yeah. And I got like watching them. It's like, oh, wow, I'm learning so much like, new information I've never heard about like, myself. Who? Okay, it's like, I drive this car, really? Yeah. I make $18 million a year? Oh, that's awesome. That's They're amazing. hilarious to watch, dude. They're hilarious to watch. It's like, they, people usually go into Social Blade, and Social Blade will be like, oh, every, every month, Austin Evans can make between, between $2. <laughs> To two million dollars, <laughs> so they'd be like, okay, uh, somewhere in between there, he which makes is like two million dollars a month. Off. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's crazy, but it's uh, hilarious. That's, that's, that's okay. Right. Okay. We're carrying on. Um, Austin Evans headphones. That's, that's oh, yeah, that's, I that's, like that's, that. Yeah. Um, for the record, I use a bunch of different headphones. Status okay. CB ones, right. classic. I use them all the time. Nice. Um, for the gem and sort of for like planes and stuff, I like the Apple AirPods. Okay. Simple, easy. Yeah. Um, and then I've been using the final E4000, the e final E4000s, yeah. which are um, some great inner, uh, inner monitors. In fact, Ken actually got it for me for Mystery Tech. Yeah. And at first I was like, oh, he's going to take it. Yeah. He didn't get it. <laughs> there he is. The last one we've got here. Oh, no. And this is actually legit. I've not oh, no. made this up. Okay. Austin Evans makeup. Seriously. Here it is. Is there a new vet? Look, I'm not even joking. This is what it is. Is, is, there, is there a new venture that we haven't heard about? Is there, is there going to be like, is there a secret line that you've got <laughs> in the I background? Know. Austin Evans makeup. I have no idea. <laughs> Seriously. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Here it is. It's one of the top, one of your top 10 search results. I got nothing. I mean, this is all natural, <laughs> like, I'm sorry to say. We're stuck looking at this. Yeah. Is, yeah. Any, any, anything? No? The, no? The shine no on my way. forehead is all real. <laughs> it's all real. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. That's Stay actually tuned. legit. That's the next, uh, that's the next expansion, that, that, I guess. That is, that is actually legit. It's not even made up. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good idea. That's it. <laughs> there I you go. I have not seen half of those before. So this is, this, is, this, this is the first you're hearing about it. Austin Evans' new makeup line. This is, this is the first place. Sure, remember three that. people will be interested. <laughs> Favorite YouTubers. Who, so uh, you've mentioned Super Linus. Super Sass oh, TV. Obviously. Number one, number yeah, two, and number course, three. Uh, <laughs> no, in, so you met, mentioned Linus. Obviously somebody Linus, that you Linus, of course, absolutely. To. Um, who else do you watch on a regular basis? Who else, do you, who else are you inspired by? So I think it's actually, I don't, I don't know if this is unique or not. I don't watch a lot of tech stuff. I watch some. Okay. I definitely watch some. Yeah, yeah. I watch you. I watch like Jonathan Morrison, yeah. Marquez, Lou. Like I, I watch a lot of like the the, the big guys. Yeah. But I also watch a lot of non uh, tech YouTube. Like a lot. I like a lot of sort of like more educational channels. Like okay. CHP Gray, absolutely amazing. The three times a year he makes a video. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> um, no, uh, makes makes great videos. Um, half is interesting. It's actually one of the big inspirations for us. With this is, this um, is I yeah. found those okay. videos. I was like, this is amazing. Like, I want to share interesting, and cool like, information with the world. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of like really interesting sort of creators out there that aren't in the tech space because, again, coming back to, mm. I make tech videos. I don't yeah, want to wanna... watch a lot of tech videos. Also, because I don't want other people to like hugely influence this style. Because mm -hmm. even if I'm like, I'm gonna go out and watch this new Lou video. Yeah. I'm not gonna copy it. I just want to know. But like, it kind of seeps in a little bit, right? Like, like a little bit of like the next video will be like. What's up, guys? Like a, yeah. a, a little bit more of that energy, you know? Yeah. That that he's got a lot of energy. Yeah, that's how I realized he's inspired. Like, and I, and I think you can't avoid it, right? Like, if yeah. you watch other tech videos, you're influenced in small, subtle ways, right? Mm. Where you see that shot, and you're like, ah, oh, that's a good idea, and you like kind of file that away for next time. Mm. And not that I don't watch any tech videos, but I try to like 
keep a little distance, right? Yeah, I so want to make you're sure a bit more original from that. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, so, that's yeah. interesting. Pea sauce, all kinds of fun cool. non-tech stuff. That's cool. All right, now we're going to be going, getting onto the quick fire round. Oh, shortly. okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. S but but before that, we're going to ask: Are we going to ever see Austin Evans with a beard? Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> in my entire adult life, yeah. I've only not shaved for like four or five days at a time. Okay. I was in Iceland last year, and I was like, I'm not going to shave. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna maybe, roll it out. Maybe I actually was, might join the beer gang. Because sometime. before I was like 15, I couldn't grow anything. Okay. So I, I literally been shaved like the entire yeah. time. But that that one week, I was like, oh look at this. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. I mean, it's I can't coming. obviously compete with this. Okay. I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. And that's that's <laughs> it looks it looks better in this lighting. I, I love this setup. It looks good in all light. All right. Don't, so don't kid yourself. We're gonna be coming to the quick fire round. I've got a little gift for you. If you just hold on for one second. Oh, this is this is scary. Okay. This is this is for you, which you have to put on for the quick fire round. <laughs> Unboxing. There you go. <laughs> Just gonna be a little gentle with this. I'm expecting like a hamster to jump out. <laughs> Let's see. We've got some super soft shades. All right. There you go. Look at that. I'm ready. Let's what do, do you it. think? What do you think? Let's say, wait. Let's, yeah. Now you that can, actually looks pretty good, dude. Yeah. Now we can All like right. see each other in each other's. Boom. All right. Glasses. I'm so ready. Awesome. Let's get rid of all this all right. stuff. So you know how this is going to work, right? So I'm going to give you two options. Okay. You can't think about it. You have to respond back straight away. Okay. Respond right? back but with only one of the with, two. With one of the two. Got it. So you've got to pick one. Don't think about it too much. Just okay. straight away. I have the glasses of power. I'm ready. Right. So we're ready for the super sack quick fire round. Three, two, one. Hot, cold. Hot. Big or small? Big. Sweet or sour? Sweet. Tea or coffee? Tea. Beef or chicken? Chicken. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. GIF or GIF? GIF. PC or Mac? PC. Mac. Both. <laughs> I don't know. You could. <laughs> All right. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. iOS or Android? iOS. Desktop or laptop? Laptop. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh. Both, 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 both. Pass. Final Cut or Premiere Pro? Final Cut. Metal or glass? Glass. Skin or case? Ooh, case. 21 by 9 or 16 by 9? 69. Steve Jobs or Bill Gates? Steve Jobs. Sony or Canon? Sony. Headphones or earphones? Headphones? 3.5 mm jack or a bigger battery? Bigger battery. Fingerprint scanner or Face ID? Face ID. Better battery life or more pixels? Better battery life. Easy. Uh, front, uh, front stereo speakers or a bezel-less display? Stereo speakers by a thousand. Wide angle or telephoto? Wide angle. Wireless or fast charging? Wireless. Yeah, Boom. wireless. You did well. Well, there was a few little hiccups. I didn't think about it. Like, it was like, what, like a couple times like you would say it. I was like, oh, that's not the way I answer. I would start to say it, and you say the other I was like, Ugh. That's the thing. Is come out, <laughs> the truth is revealed. That's a good one. I like yes. that. I feel like you learn more about me in that quick fire round than like anyone would ever learn in like a normal There you go. That's where, that's where we end off with that quick fire round. Austin, thanks so much Dude. for having me in the studio. Thanks for... Come on. Let's not hit the mic. Man, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> There's going to be like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So awesome to have you on the channel. So great to see everything that you're doing, your team. I uh, can only see it getting better. Thanks, and I uh, wish you all the best. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed to Austin, then I will be leaving his channel linked in the, in the description below. And it is Austin, not Duncan. Austin, not Duncan on social, Austin yeah. Evans on YouTube. Okay, so guys, make sure you go ahead and follow if you haven't already, although I think most people probably will be. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then be sure to do so as you well. You have to be course. subscribed to Super Zap. You have to be subscribed. The number one, to two, and three choice for Austin Evans' channel of the yeah, year. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm going I'm to just quote that. I'm going to cut this part out, and I'm just going to put it on repeat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Sweet. Dude, Dude that was awesome, man. That was man. so good. Thanks, man. These, <laughs> these are amazing. And you've got them. That's, we're going to have the, the P, oh, man. I didn't, even, I didn't even realize they were like reflective. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> You bring the yeah, gifts, man. That is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, that was that was fun, man. I'm in.